Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy495 here with the review of Nutrans Arcadia uh, Tempered Screen Protector for the iPhone 5 and 5S. So I have it installed on my iPhone 5S right here, and I'm here to give you my opinions and thought about generally tempered glass protectors in general. So there's obviously two main types of screen protectors. There are these glass ones, and there are also the plastic ones that usually come in multiple packets. Now, I do recommend getting screen protectors because especially your screens do still tend to get scratched really easily until they make even harder ones. But at this point, especially if an iPhone, you definitely want to get a screen protector. But whether you get a glass one or a plastic one, hopefully this review will help determine that. So I have it installed. As you can see, this one has, because it's glass, you can tell that it is slightly raised above the original one. So it is thicker than most screen protectors because it's glass. It has a cutout for your um, home button, which does not interfere whatsoever with Touch ID, which is good. It also has a cutout for the um, <clears throat> speaker here. No cutout for the actual camera because it's glass, so it really doesn't matter that much. Now, I did install it, and if you saw my unboxing video, you see that I had a air bottle bubble here, and I still do. Unfortunately, it never went away, so I'm thinking that it's part of a manufacturer defect. Now, what I want to caution you guys is pretty much with any screen protector is that if you do not install it properly the first time, do not pick it up and try to do it again because then you get a bunch of things like uh, dust particles and other things stuck in between, which is pretty much at that point impossible to get out. Then you're pretty much stuck with an imperfected screen protector, which is actually what happened to me, unfortunately. I don't know why I did that. Literally, this is not my first time, but I was hoping that since it was a glass protector that I could fix it, but unfortunately not. However, I, what I really like about this glass protector is that it's very smooth. It's as if I didn't have a screen protector on it, so it's really easy to slide my finger on it, and it doesn't interfere with the sensitivity at all, which is definitely a huge plus for glass protectors. However, this is retailing for under just under $10, so it is pretty pricey, and it's only come as one pack. But what the biggest selling point about this is how hard it is. It, according to this, this is a 9H plus hardness rating, which just means that it's really close to the hardness of, say, the sapphire, pure sapphire. Um... <clears throat> And just under like diamond hardness rating, so this thing is really hard. I don't expect this to get scratched at all, which is definitely a huge plus over the plastic ones. Now, this because it's thicker, it doesn't tend to fit in tight fitting cases like this one that I have here, which is unfortunate. Which is why I'm probably not going to use this screen protector most of the time. As in, I'm probably not going to use it once I finish this review. But depending on you guys' needs, you might, you guys may want this. Maybe you can find a case that would fit this. That's definitely really important. If you choose to buy this um, screen protector, you need to find a case that's a little bit more adjustable to thickness of the phone. And then hopefully you won't get a defected one like I did. So that's another thing, but I definitely really like, if it was installed properly, I would really love this screen protector. It would have been very clear, the functionality would have no difference than when it doesn't have it, and it's super protective as well. So really the only downside is really first the, the application process, which they did include a several other things, if you saw my unboxing video, that would help you with the application process. But unfortunately, if you didn't install it properly, or if you get something like this, and you try it again, it won't work for you. <clears throat> but, if you're willing to pay the price for this, and you do manage to install this properly, then I think this was would be a very well worth the product, because this would probably last you a lifetime. I don't think you would ever have to replace the screen protector as long as you have your phone. So that will do it for my review. I hope you uh, found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel for other videos like this. And thank you for watching.